All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be showing you my entire Stephen Donaldson book collection. Got it right here. I shot this uh, book collection video uh, about six months ago. I wasn't quite satisfied with the way it turned out, so I deleted it. We're doing it again today because I've got some dope books here. Stephen Donaldson was one of my one of the first fantasy authors that I started collecting as a young person, and um, I still have the original versions of the books that I got from him, and then I've got everything else in hardcover. Actually, I've got all of the Stephen Donaldson books in hardcover, except for three thriller novels he wrote in the early 2000s. Um, I do not have those. But beyond that, I think we've got every Stephen Donaldson book here in hardcover, some of them in paperback. So let's start from the beginning. Where, When and where and how and why did I start reading Stephen Donaldson? Well, it was just when I was a kid. I think he was one of the first ten fantasy authors that I ever read, you know, there was Terry Brooks and David Eddings and Raymond Feist and Dragon Lance and uh, Lloyd Alexander and Stephen Donaldson was on my shelf back then too. With, of course, the original trilogy, the original Thomas Covenant trilogy, which I have right here in paperback. These are the original books that I bought when I was a teenager. Still, I probably have read these maybe five or six times. I bet I read them as a teenager maybe four times and as an adult maybe two or three more times. That's a lot of times. And they're still in mint condition. And they've got the, um, the just the great, great Daryl K. Sweet artwork on them. And I love the fact that we've got the color schemes of the red, the blue, and the green with those great um, Daryl K. Sweet covers. Okay, so that is the original trilogy that I read as a kid. Then also as a kid, my parents had this book club thing. My, my, oh, already the set is falling. We will pick those up in a second when we get to those books. Um, so my parents had this book club thing where um, they, my parents didn't read books. But for some reason they thought, hey, we can get 20 books for a penny. You know, back in those days when you could get 20 CDs for a penny, and that then you were enrolled in this club, and then they would just send you shit all the time until you, you know, finally figured out how to get the thing stopped. Um, well, they did a book club, and since I was the only one that read in the house, I got to pick the books. And I did pick, so these are all book club versions that I got. So I got, as a kid, I also got these book club versions of the same trilogy. So now we've got the book club versions of the Thomas Covenant trilogy, which I don't know. These covers, I mean, they're all right. They're okay. It's, it's, it's a nice set to have, and I've kept them all these years. But so we've got the Thomas Covenant trilogy in book club version and the original paperbacks that I bought. When I, the, so I've, all of these I had ever since I was a teen. And um, I, I just, I like the paperbacks way more than the book club ones. But the book club ones are pretty cool to have anyway. That's why I've always kept them. Now, um, let me pick up the books that I dropped. Ugh. It just never ends, folks. It just never ends. Holy cow. Okay, now I got to sort through these. These are the ones we've talked about. Okay, so then we got the second Chronicles of Thomas Covenant. Um, again, with a great Daryl K. Sweet cover art. These also came out when I was a teen. And I liked them. I loved them. Read these quite a bit. Probably not as much as the original. But we've got the, uh, you know, they all look good. And then also, because of the book club, I ended up getting the book club versions of those same books. And they've also got the uh, Daryl Sweet cover paintings. So they kind of match. 
So, so if we put this trilogy to next to the, basically it's the same thing we've got here. I mean, you can see. Anyway, so that is that. Now let's move on to, we're doing these in kind of chronological order in order of his publication. So the next thing that I bought of his was um, this Daughter of Regals. This was a, um, and I can't remember if this came out before Mordant's Need or if Mordant, but anyway, the Daughter of Regals with a great Michael Whalen painting. Look at one of my favorite Michael Whalen paintings. This is a collection of short stories that Stephen Donaldson did. There's a picture of him. This is not a book club, even though it's the same size as the book club. This is actually um, the size that it was released at in the bookstores. And I got that. Now, my favorite Stephen Donaldson books of all time are, and these are the ones that I have signed. So these are the paperback versions of More Dance Need. It's a duology. My favorite works by Stephen Donaldson, A Mirror of Her Dreams, A Man Rides Through. But I loved Stephen Donaldson so much that I bought the hardcovers when they came out. And these are signed. I always show off my signed books. So great Michael Whalen painting. We look at the uh, paperback version of the same novel. I basically got the paperbacks to read because even though... Even though I would always keep my books nice, I got the paperbacks. This is another Michael Whalen painting. Great. And um, again, I got this one signed by Mr. Donaldson. And we've got the uh, paperback versus the uh, hardcover. About the same thing. So those were my favorite Stephen Donaldson books, The More Dance Need. And then Stephen Donaldson jumped into space opera science fiction and oh my god these books are so dope almost i think this might be my second favorite thing that stephen donaldson has done is the gap cycle so let's look at these books one at a time now these are pretty hard core r-rated novels uh set in outer space uh probably the hardest r-rated stuff and he's written some r-rated stuff here um but this is probably his most hard-hitting R-rated stuff. It starts with The Gap, the real story, with just kind of a bizarro cover. I don't know who did that cover. I reviewed this book um, on my channel, and I mentioned the cover artist. I just can't think of it now. Book number two, Forbidden Knowledge. Great space opera science fiction. Let's see. We've got uh, A Dark and Hungry God Arises. That's pretty cool. I like that cover. Stephen Yule or Paul Yule. I can't remember which one painted it. Chaos and Order. And then last, uh, This Day All Gods Die. So um, that's a pretty good set. Now these three books, they look like they match. The covers are all kind of like similar. And even cooler on the backside, they've got the full illustration. So the back side, we get the full illustration. The front side, we get a little mirror into it. Full illustration. I don't know why the first two books, it looks like they were struggling to find a style that they wanted to stick with because they don't match at all. Um, there's nothing. I mean, there's absolutely nothing. Um, anyway, but as a whole, they look like this on the shelf. So they match, but not quite match. It's all right. We'll put them over here. And then Stephen Donaldson de decided to go back into, well, he wrote three thriller novels in between The Gap and these. I don't have them in my collection. They're really hard to find and get. They're just really rare. Um, but if you find them and can get them, great. Um, but then he decided to go back into his, Steve, uh, his Thomas Covenant Chronicles universe, and he wrote these four books. Now, as you can see, these four books, we look at the spine. The spines match on the, the these three, but then the first one doesn't match. But um, that's all right, because the covers are cool. This is a, the, um, this is the last 
Chronicles of Thomas Covenant four book series, The Ruins of Earth. It's got a great Michael Whalen painting on it. It's just super cool. And then for the second and third and fourth volumes, we get John Jude Palencar, who's actually my second favorite science fiction fantasy um, illustrator. And I love his stuff. And so uh, this is book two, Fatal Revenant, the great... It looks like Gandalf, but it's not. And then we've got... Uh, Against All Things Ending with another great John Jude Palencar cover. Just looks really sharp books, these final three. Well, the whole set is really sharp. And then The Last Dark. That's a cool book. But anyway, that's... So we've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten books in the Chronicles of Thomas Covenant. One trilogy, second trilogy... And then the final four books. And now he's writing another series, which I'm collecting, and it's down here. And we will talk about it. I have not read these yet. Um, so I don't know anything about them. But I do have, I've been collecting them, thinking I will read them and review them for the channel at some point. But this is what they look like. This series is called The um, Great God's War. It starts with the seventh decimate. Uh, these covers... Yeah, they, they could probably be better. I mean, it's just like generic Photoshop, CGI graphic, computer-generated stuff now. I don't know who the uh, artist is. I mean, it's all right, but it just, it doesn't, it isn't as sharp as those uh, 80s and 90s covers or the Michael Whalen's or the John Jude Palin car covers or even the Daryl K. Sweet covers. But we've got this book first one. Second one is The War Within. Again, pretty um, Lottie Da cover. And then The Killing God is the third one, which just came out about a month ago. So I have not read these, but we, I will get to them at some point. So that, my friends, is my entire Stephen Donaldson book collection. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've read these, drop a note. Tell me how much you love them or hate them. Don't care. Um, I love them. One of my favorite writers of all time. Go out and start buying his stuff.